now that we've gone over online and offline automations, I wanted to talk a bit about smart controls again. So here I have this uh, synthesizer line. And it's being created by Alchemy. If I come over to the channel strip on the left-hand side, I'll click here, Alchemy pops up. This is a simple view of Alchemy that gives us some pads, gives us some controls that have been assigned to aspects of Alchemy. And we have a XY pad, that's pretty cool. If I open up my smart controls, the smart controls are going to reflect what I'm looking at. And what's neat about Alchemy in particular is that the smart controls can form themselves to the transform modes you see. If I click here, you can see the transform pads are moving as well, which is kind of neat. And then I have delay and reverb, and then I have chorus. But next to the transform, we have controls. These controls are assignable. And I have this keyboard that just so happens to have eight knobs on it. So I've got controller assignments on each knob. You need to use continuous controllers if you're going to do this kind of thing. So I have 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 11, 20, and 21. I can come down to these knobs, and if I want to assign them, I need to click on the I for the inspector, hit Learn External Assignment, and just turn the knob. Now I leave that Learn button on, and I just go through all my knobs. Give them a little test. Cool. When I get to, uh, let's see, how far did I get? So I got 20 and 21 left. Maybe I can assign those. See, they have two different directions, vertical and horizontal. So vertical, I'm going to use controller 20. And for horizontal, I'll use 21. So now, kind of like an Etch-a-Sketch, I can move my XY pad around. To use these controls effectively, I'm going to go into online mode. I come over to the channel strip, and I'll choose latch. And while it's playing, I'm going to change some parameters. So <laughs> changed it pretty radically. I was just sort of randomly moving them around. So it's a really fun way to control many different parameters at once. And you can also just grab the knobs and move them as well. So if I go to the transform pad, I can actually change the transform pad here if I want to. If I hit play... That's pretty fun. So you can see it moving on alchemy. Cool. So smart controls, really easy to assign, really easy to use. Right now, the smart controls will default to what's called automatic. So it's going to try and guess which smart controls you need. But if you ever want to, you can come over to where it says automatic smart controls and have a list of any of the other types that you want. All right. Now that we've gone over that, let's talk about creating automation points because there are some cool ways that I wanted to show you for uh, altering automation points.